all of a sudden I see my daughter just screaming in pain was just devastating for me. Stacy Libatori describing the moment her five month old daughter Amelia became sick while using a new formula after she and her fiance were unable to find her dairy free formula. I live in Hoboken, New Jersey, and I remember going to the CVS where we always get her formula. And not only was her formula out there, but the, the shelves were just empty. And I was like, John, I can't, her formula is not here. And he's like, okay, I'll go to Target. You know, we've been in there before, they've had it. And he calls me up and he's like, Stace, he's like, your, your, her formula is not here either. And we're both just on the phone in silence. According to the latest national baby formula numbers from IRI, a Chicago-based market research firm, 79.46% of all baby formula is in stock and 70% of powder formula is in stock for the week ending July 24th. While the numbers have improved since the start of the shortage, that doesn't mean availability is 100% back to normal for everyone. Libatori says there are still millions of moms like herself struggling to find formula, saying she feels forgotten by her country. It was all over the news. Everybody was talking about it. Even if you didn't have kids, you were talking about it. And then I would say within like a month, the story completely disappeared. And, you know, we were still, we meaning, you know, new parents, we're still going into stores and asking, you know, when are you going to get a shipment and being told, I don't know. And I mean, the uncertainty of not being able to know if I can feed my child and, you know, not hearing a peep from, you know, the, the government powers that be like, what's happening, what's going on, when is this going to be fixed? You just, you start to feel like you've just been shoved to the side. And she's a hundred percent right. The shortage is not over until every single mom, dad, or whoever can go to the store and find the exact formula they need because each baby has, you know, different needs. Libatori's concerns are echoed by mom of two, Stephanie Esposito. Esposito, who also had trouble finding formula for her 10-month-old baby boy, started Formula Finder NJ to help moms who she says are still in need. And for care for preemies is still not really available. Um, the alpha amino is a little, it's a getting a little better, but pure amino, the Gerber extensive HA, people can't find that either. So there's still definitely an issue. Um, but for the most part, for most brands, it's getting a little better. Medical director of pediatrics for a virtual health system, Dr. Jeff Seiden says it isn't all bad news and that there might be light at the end of the tunnel. I'm not surprised that there are still parents who are having a hard time. Um, I think I would say a couple of things. Number one, I think those parents are now fewer and far between, meaning that more and more parents are able to find the formula that they need. Uh, there are certainly some issues just as always with supply and demand where costs are going to be higher, uh, stacked on top of, as you mentioned, some of the shipping concerns uh, that increase costs. Um, but the shelves are getting a little bit fuller. Um, the options are getting a little bit broader. And I think, you know, by the fall or, you know, maybe early winter at the latest, I think we should be seeing ourselves back to normal with this. But for moms like Stacy and Stephanie, it might not be soon enough. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.